Hey everyone, it's Nicole Slater and I am here with my 30 days of 30 paintings and I'm on day number 12. Can you believe that? Wow, it's just flying by, which is good, I guess. Um, so day 12, um, what does day 12? Day 12 to me right now is I need to keep my original thought. Yesterday I wanted to do wildflowers and ended up doing cows. So I went from wildflowers to cattle and so today I am sticking with the wildflowers. I might even do uh, like maybe an architectural element in there somehow um, like a windmill or a barn or something I'm not sure but anyhow I really appreciate your comments I love your motivation to keep me doing this and um, I just want to keep this momentum up and that's my biggest concern right now it's it's starting to get busy and um, I teach full-time teaching art so um, I got a lot of little ones coming in now after school and just trying to work everything in and I'll, I'll do it and it's working out fine it's just I still need um, positive energy so thanks again for being here I appreciate you bye okay so I have now the layout of basically the feeling or the mood and now I'm going to go in and manipulate the paint and add more detail to wildflowers and mainly, you know, all along in here. And um, I'm gonna maybe do a few more things in this background area to blur some out um, and some thick pieces of paint in here somewhere besides the big masses I have right now. I think these are gonna be the underpainting and then um, I'll reapply some thick paint back on top for the flowers. So stay tuned, see you soon. Okay, so so far um, it's looking really good, and I I do have to say that this is um, a la prima style, meaning I I'm doing wet oil paint on top of wet oil paint, and a la prima style is cool for um, especially like if you're a plain air painter. So if you're an outside painter and you have to paint something quick, you have to know how to do that. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't do a lot of that, and so for me it's a little bit of a challenge right now because the colors are starting to kind of muddy together. And um, so what I'm going to do is apply as much as I can of the thick paint of the areas I do want detailed. And I'm just gonna go for those blocks of colors at this point, because I only have today to do this. And since it's 30 days and 30 paintings, I have today. So um, the next step you're gonna see is um, I will go ahead and, and manipulate and trying to get some more flower detail in here as much as I can and then I'm going to put some bigger blocks of color and be done. So I hope you like it and I will do another quick video right before I'm done. Okay, bye. Okay, so I just finished my number 12 and my number 12 is the floral um, farm scene and overall I think it went good. I, I The a la prima style I know is a little difficult for me. I need to work on that. So it's the wet in wet paint. So it's the wet oil paint on wet oil paint. And I think because I was trying to do wildflowers and build up the masses on top of each other, it makes it more difficult. I probably should have applied the color in between the colors instead of applying them on top of each other, each other while they're still wet. Um, what else? I learned uh, you know, just go with your heart, keep going, don't give up, um, and and I like this direction. I really like it. So I'm looking forward to number 13, and thanks again for being here. Bye.